welcome back to another session in this video I shall be talking about how to establish a slotting operation in a working model between two geometries uh, might be any kind of a geometry or a, uh, it might be a square or a circle of any profile so let's begin um, I'll start about why it is essential to establish a um, it is important to establish a slotting um, operation between two geometries uh, in case if you want to obtain a sliding operation with, um, in a given uh, profile or in a given axis or a direction, you need a slotting place about which uh, slide a sliding action takes place. So for that purpose, you need a um, slot operation. Well, basically you have a slot operation with respect to whole working environment where you can directly establish a slotting operation of, an, uh, of, of a given geometry. Uh, with relative to the working plane you're working on so over here you can see a key slot join constrain a body to slide along a, sl a slot so the slot direction or an axis about which it's going to it's fixed uh, and uh, the body can slot along it along with the uh, along the sl um, slot uh, slotted direction so i'll show you how does it work i've uh, just created one over here I'll double click and I'll change it to 1.571 radian. That is the perpendicular. So, okay. 1.571. Could not move because of my work. Okay. I'll just delete this and I'll, I'll, I'll establish a perpendicular relation. And I'll just draw a body and I'll just add a relation to it. And I'll see around. And okay. I'll, I'll redo it. I'll make up a geometry, and now I'll use a you know, key slot joint, which is vertical, and I'll select the action. Okay, I'll see around. And you could see the body slides along the given slot direction. Fine but it is fixed with respect to the global that is the working plane i need a um, uh, slotting action free respective to two mobile geometries so how to do that i'll show you in this tutorial but before that i'll delete this fine uh, before going ahead further i would like to also show you some um, few more things like i want to establish um, a spring and a damper joint between this body and a wheel so I'll select the two points about which I would like to establish the relation. Fine. So this is done, and I'll say run. You could see um, spring and damper behaves properly. It's just with respect to the endpoints. Endpoints are nothing but the point element about which you have one degree of freedom in a two D plane. I'm talking. So that is one degree of freedom is rotation about that given point. I need to arrest that uh, rotation degree means I need to uh, establish a slotting relation between this rectangular feature geometry and a circular feature which acts as a tie-up and why a pin is required because the wheel has to rotate if I use a square point then it, it doesn't work out okay so I'll first delete this and uh, now I'll start with establishing uh, first I'll create a slot joint then I'll add a relation um, so first I'll select a square point of an element about this because I need to arrest a rotating degree of freedom I cannot select a point fine secondly I'll select a slot element and I'll place it about the selected square element I have, um, uh, I have fixed, uh, prior to this operation and you could see the slot operation has been uh, the slot and the element about which it's going to slot has been defined for this geometry feature now I, I have to establish a relation between the slot and the circle but I need a point in order to establish the relation uh, I cannot select a square point because in case if I select the square point uh, uh, add a square point to the tire and add a relation between the slot point then it will not allow the wheel to rotate because uh, square square point only gives a provision of sliding moving along the line uh, i would rather say it's, it gives you a degree of freedom of translating not a rotating 
whereas here the rotating degree, uh, degree is desirable. So for that purpose, I'll select a point element and I'll place it above the center. I'll press shift key in my keyboard and I'll select the point element and the slot that I have defined prior. And you could see the joint has activated after selecting two um, parameter uh, two entities and I'll, I'll click join now they have established a relation between these two so now this slot will only sorry uh, this uh, pivot point will give a wheel of a degree uh, wheel a freedom to rotate about this point as well as the point will slot about the given slotted direction to see it I'll just say run now since there was a no suspension between these two it just slide it down so I'll reset and I'll add a spring and a damper and I'll edit the feature uh, for the spring I'll put it as 6k sorry 6 newton per meter I'll say run and now you can see how the body performs I hope you enjoyed this session and see you soon with another session. Take care. Bye.